I'm Karen Bosick with Ion Sun Valley. Thank you for joining us. Today we're at the 61st Wagon Days celebration in Ketchum. And this is a most notable occasion because we're being joined for the first time by the Shoshone Bannock tribe of Fort Hall, Idaho. This is notable because they used to come through this valley centuries before the miners were here, the sheep herders were here, even the skiers. Let's go check them out. I'm here with Daryl Shea. He's a former tribal council member with the Shoshban tribe. He also is the former cultural preservation director. Daryl, can you tell me uh, how the uh, Shoshone Bannock Indians used to come through this area? Oh, like I was explaining before, this is one of the, the major routes in it, and it actually is right uh, in the middle of the areas where a lot of our medicinal plants uh, grew, uh, our, uh, our food plants that we have, the Camas Prairie, just is over the hill here uh, in Fairfield, Idaho. The Camas Prairie over here in Fairfield, Idaho is actually, you know, part of our reservation. Uh -huh. So that's why we come back there year after year and gather the, gather the Camas, and it was an important staple in our diet. I mean, the nutrition that you get from that is unbelievable. Uh, and, as, and our Indian people knew it. That's why they had to get it, process it, and keep it, you know, year round, along with the salmon, the elk, the deer, whatever, whatever is around here. How do you cook it and eat it today? Oh, yeah, it's a long process. You, uh, you have to uh, uh, bury it in the ground and uh, roast it that way. Mm -hmm. It's a natural oven, you know, and, and our people must have experimented with it for years and years and finally fig figured out how to do it. There's a, a few other tribes that also uh, gather the camas and eat it. So, uh -huh. Uh -huh. you know, ours is one of them, and we still do that to this day. Mm -hmm. you know? Now, what might your ancestors have done in this particular area, in the Wood River Valley? Well, this is one of the, one of the uh, routes that everybody took to go from when they when they uh, came here to gather the camas because you know when you have two or three thousand people gather in one spot you can't just go and gather in one spot mm -hmm. without having to worry about you know what your horses are going to eat what your people is going to eat where you're going to get the, the you know the the areas to camp at without mm -hmm. uh, you know without impacting each other so this was you know one of the areas where we stayed uh -huh. and it was uh, on the on the way going you know the the trail creek pass is mm -hmm. one of the old indian trails oh, really? they went from here went across the um 
Trail Creek and went to the other areas where the salmon go. They also went, of course, you can go to, towards Stanley mm -hmm. and then all the backwaters there, and that's prime, our prime uh, salmon uh, fishing areas. You know, and so we pr still practice that to this day. Mm -hmm. In fact, when I go, sometimes I take this route and I come through here to, to this valley going back home. Mm -hmm. Well, Darrell, the Shoshone Bannock have certainly left their mark on the Wood River Valley and our Wagon Day celebration this weekend. Thank you very much for joining us. And folks, thank you for joining us as well. I'm Karen Bossick with Eye on Sun Valley. And until next time, I'm keeping my eye on Sun Valley for you. Eye on Sun Valley daily local news from beautiful Sun Valley, Idaho.